looking ahead now, two more members of the Rankin County Goon Squad will be sentenced tomorrow morning. Yeah, it comes after the first two learn they will spend time in prison after pleading guilty to those federal charges. Hunter Elwood receiving just over 20 years in prison and Jeffrey Middleton, the leader of the Goon Squad, received 17 and a half years. Greener Science Quentin Smith joins us now with reaction from the victims and their attorneys. It was an emotional day inside the courtroom, starting when Hunter Elward was being sentenced. He took to the podium, then turned and looked directly at Michael Jenkins and Eddie Parker, apologizing to the two men for what he did to them and for what they're now having to go through. Right after that, Parker stood up, telling Elward he understands and he forgives him for his actions. You know, it's giving him what it's done. I forgive that part, but other than that, Still, he still did, you know what I'm saying, what he did, and he, got, he has to be punished for it. While Parker is forgiving of Elward, Jenkins is not. I don't. I don't. Because, because if you wouldn't have got taught, you'd still be doing the same thing. You'd still be out here doing it. The two men sitting inside the courtroom, listening in as the remorseful Elward, who shot Jenkins in the mouth, accepts responsibility for his wrongdoing. A federal judge sentencing Elward to two decades behind bars. He pleaded guilty to a dozen federal charges, including deprivation of rights, discharge of a firearm, and obstruction of justice. I feel sorry for the family. I feel sorry for mom and daddy. But uh, I ain't feeling nothing. I feel like he's getting exactly what he did. Entering the courtroom next is Middleton. He's being sentenced to 17 and a half years in federal prison, pleading guilty to multiple charges such as obstruction of justice, conspiracy against rights, and deprivation of rights. This all dates back to January of 2023. That's when six former Rankin County law enforcement officers, also known as the Goon Squad, physically and sexually assaulted Jenkins and Parker. I am glad that they got that amount of time, and I hope it will continue that the other defendants will get the same amount and that we can put this to rest. This is a message to all racist police officers in every department in Mississippi and throughout the United States of America that beware that justice will be coming your way. If you continue to brutalize and terrorize black people, you will spend many years behind bars. And that is the message. The next two members of the Goon Squad to be sentenced are Daniel Updike and Christian Dedman. They'll make their appearance before a federal judge on Wednesday. Reporting from outside the federal courthouse, I'm Quentin Smith.